Coffee for a cause. Stay tuned, guys, because we're going to do a taste test of Black Rifle Coffee Company Death Punch Blend and explain to you why this needs to be the next cup of coffee that you go to. All right, hang tight. Here we go. So I have to admit, as I was walking around uh, DE Guns in Lincoln, Nebraska last week, and they had a huge display of Black Rifle Coffee. And uh, this one kind of caught my attention, uh, the Five Finger Death Punch Blend, or just simply Death Punch Blend. Um, it seems kind of an interesting uh, mix of, of heavy metal and coffee. I mean, the two go together well, caffeine, energy, and so on. Well, the ties actually go deeper than that. So here's the deal. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch, a Las Vegas, Nevada-based heavy metal band, got together with Black Rifle Coffee Company, and they wanted to put together a blend that they could promote that would actually raise funds, which is the coolest thing for this organization called the Home Deployment Project. Now, for every box and every bag of the Death Punch blend that gets sold, um, there's going to be a, a portion of the proceeds that's going to go towards the Home Deployment Project. So what is it? Well, this is taken directly from the Home Deployment Project website. You know, when it comes to these, uh, these, these charity foundations and these groups and organizations, you want to make sure these groups are legit. You want to see what percentage actually goes back to the people. And the Home Deployment Project does a fantastic job taking care of the veterans. So just a quick little kind of summary of what it says. Um, Home Deployment Project purpose is to provide one-on-one -on -one support to displaced veterans suffering from chronic post-traumatic stress, uh, stress disorder by providing them with a safe place to live. We do not place our veterans in shelters, group homes, or halfway houses. Each veteran is provided with his or her own dwelling, free of charge for a period in which they are offered the tools to become self-supporting again. And that right there, I mean, when I looked at the organization and saw it, I knew that this is where I wanted my money to go. So if you want to support a good cause, it's buy this coffee, and that money's going to go to the right place. All right, let's talk about the coffee itself. Okay, so the box itself doesn't really tell us a whole lot about, uh, you know, the coffee. I did pay $13.99 uh, for it. It doesn't really tell us much about the roast. It just tell you about the organization. Again, how the heavy metal band does promote um, the Home Deployment Project and how they use their ability and their resources to help promote that organization, which I think is awesome. 100% uh, uh, Arabica coffee uh, roasted in the United States of America. So I went online and I went ahead and looked up this roast. And what I discovered is that it is a dark medium blend. And usually, you know, when you go get your coffees, you're going to get a medium blend, you're going to get a dark blend, you're going to get yourself a light roast. Each type of coffee has its own flavor characteristics. Um, what's cool about dark medium blend as we're going to discover, is how it kind of gives you that, that bold flavor, those, those chocolate notes and cocoa notes, without the lingering bitter or smokiness that you get with a lot of your hearty traditional dark roasts. So let's just go ahead and brew up a cup of this stuff and see what it tastes like, and I'll try to explain the experience to you. So whenever I do any kind of uh, coffee taste test, you know, the smell, it really does say a lot about the coffee. Um, I am a complete coffee addict. It doesn't matter if it's Keurig or brewed or it comes out of... Uh, an AeroPress, or if, an inst if it's instant, I'll try it all. So the smell, okay, a little bit smoky initially. It does smell like it could be a little bit bitter. There's definitely some chocolate there. Okay, you do notice the notes of it. A little bit towards the uh, the skunky side, which is okay because you get that from the dark the dark roast. So now you're thinking to yourself, oh, this stuff is probably going to be just real real heavy. It's going to be more than what I like. So. I'll just say this right now, if you're a fan of medium roast coffees like Folgers and you want something with some, some more flavor to it, something that's going to linger a bit longer, something that's going to kind of wake you up a little bit, help you discover the true flavor you can get out of your coffee, you want to try this blend. And uh, just kind of off topic, one thing that's cool, if you buy this at your local gun store or sporting goods store and so on, you're going to be supporting a local business. So. Uh, you know, I paid about a buck more for this than I think I'm going to be paying on the website. But then on the other end, I didn't have to pay for shipping, which really through Black Rifle is not bad. It's like, I want to say 4 to $6, 4 to $8. And actually, I think right now, if you spend 75 bucks or more, you get free shipping on your order, which is really cool. So when I saw this on the shelf, I had to pick it up. Now, they had a huge display, but unfortunately, they had this in stock, and they had just black in stock. A couple coffee canisters and some some bags of just uh, just the just black. So there wasn't much less. And I asked the the guy at DE Guns. I said, "Where's all the coffee at?" And they said they put it out yesterday. And over two days, they had just got it in. Over two days, they had almost sold out their entire stock. So let's go ahead and give this stuff a test. It already smells like a lot of the French roast that I'm used to. Uh, some of those maybe smokier blends. I absolutely love them. See guys, here's the deal. When you get into your late 30s and 40s, you start to shut down. You're starting to die. You're over the hill. You're halfway past your life expectancy. And uh, you start looking for flavors like, like spicy 
and bitter, uh, for some reason those things just start to appeal to you, whereas when you're younger, you may not like those things unless maybe you're more accustomed to them as a child. So when it comes to coffees, I'll drink any coffee. I mean, I, I'm not kidding, I don't care what. As long as it's not decaf, because that's just for quitters, um, but, or people with heart conditions, which I'll probably have someday. But anyway, um, I'll drink just about any kind of coffee. I'm really not too picky about it. But if I can get a good bowl cup, I'll do it. So I want to let this cool down for a second and we'll just kind of see what happens here. By the way, it had a nice uh, crema on the top of it, which is the foam that forms from the hot water hitting the grounds, releasing the oxygen. And uh, it, it really did have a nice little foam on the top when I first brewed it up. All right, here we go. I'm going to slurp it a little bit to get the full flavor bouquet. All right. Yes, I said flavor bouquet. Calm down. Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah, it's very bold. It's very upfront. It hits you. The, 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 the pre-flavor, the, pre, the pre-taste is kind of bitter, kind of dark chocolatey. But that richness of the medium roast really starts to come through. And then on the back end, you don't have, because I've had some really, really um, almost over-roasted or dark roast before that kind of just lingers like, like, like something burnt on the back end and just, you're just kind of like, ugh. I mean, I love it, but some people don't. You don't get that with this. And that's something that I really like about it. Um, I'm not really sure what the caffeine content is of the coffee or what the origin of the beans are. It almost kind of tastes like a, like a Sumatra style. So, I mean, it probably is just a mix of beans that they used to put this roast together. I've contacted Black Rifle before asking them a question about the, uh, the origin of their instant coffee, and I never did get a response back for them and response back, and that's fine. It could be like an industry secret. They don't want to give it away, right? All right. Oh, by the way, like I said, I did pay for this out of pocket. I'm not being endorsed. So here's the deal. If you like a medium roast coffee, you like your, your cup of, of, of Folgers or just, you know, regular, just, just, you know, plastic can medium roast stuff you get at the office, um, step up, okay? I want you to take a little walk on the dark side and try some of this stuff because uh, it's going to be, it's kind of that gateway to the dark roast where it's going to give you that, that tease of a dark roast coffee, but at the same time, it's not going to give you that, that off-turning bitterness on the back end, which for a lot of people is just something that they just can't handle. Um, for some people, it's kind of, if you ever drink IPA beers, for instance, um, they can be really bitter on the back end and almost so much to the point that it just kind of lingers and you don't like that. That's what overly roasted or dark coffee does to somebody who's not used to it. It kind of turns people away from it. Uh, one more sip here. All right. Yeah. It's got a nice, just kind of balance. It does have that flavor right up front. It does have that little punch right up front that you look for. And it's something I think you could get used to. I think it's something that would, one of these in the morning would definitely wake you up and get you going. I mean, it's 3.30 in the afternoon on a Monday and I'm drinking a cup. But uh, there's no bad time to drink a cup like this. I like it. I'm going to keep buying it. Um, again, I usually go for stuff that, that's a little more bitter, a little more on the bold side. But this is not bad. I would definitely, I would definitely rate this as a solid B plus to an A uh, in terms of my favorite coffees right now. This, is, this would be definitely a good go-to. So. So there you go, guys. That's what you can expect when you buy it. I just want to help you know, like, if you're going to be spending your money on it, what can you expect when you buy it? Again, kind of that medium, medium dark roast blend that just kind of edges a bit more towards the dark side. So anyway, guys, that is it. That is my review of the Black Rifle Coffee Company, Five Finger Death Punch. Do buy the coffee. The money goes towards a good cause, and a good percentage of the funds does go towards the projects that they say it's going to go towards. And Black Rifle wouldn't stand behind a company unless it uh, was genuine and real. So hats off to Five Finger Death Punch for getting together with BRCC to make an awesome cup of coffee. I'm going to keep working on this. In the meantime, guys, uh, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, GunTube.org, GunChannels.com, GunStreamer, YouTube. Did I mention Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? I have no idea. I'm on all those locations for you. Typically, the channel name is TravisP11. On Saturday mornings, you can find me on GunChannels.com with my Saturday morning podcast called The Caliber Corner. It's on at 8 a.m. Central Time. Do check it out. Uh, otherwise, guys, we got a lot more videos coming your way, so I want you guys to stay tuned. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe, okay? Drink lots of coffee. Drink lots of Death Punch coffee. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. And, oh, by the way, chime in down below some of your favorite roaster blends. If you guys are coffee holics or coffee snobs or coffee addicts, let me know down below in the comments what kind of coffee you like to drink, and we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.